Before we begin this video, I'd just like to take a little time to uh, announce, make a little announcement. Uh, as of a few days ago, I have officially hit 100 subscribers on YouTube. Woo! Uh, thank you. So I just want to take this moment to thank each and every person who has watched my videos so, so much. I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you guys enjoying my content. And actually, some of you even subscribing to my channel. That just blows me away. I now officially have 100 more subscribers than I expected to get when I started YouTube videos. I I've, think I've really come a long way that since I was doing my Oracle of Seasons Let's Play long ago. I was basically just doing that for me. I wanted to just basically have some fun and then put it on YouTube just to see if people kind of liked it. The fact that I now have 100 people who like my content enough that they want uh, regular updates on it, that's that has just blows me away. And again, I just want to thank you all so, so much for your support and for enjoying my content, really. that's It means more to me than you guys will ever know. And I've also really enjoyed getting to actually uh, talk with a few of the, my subscribers as well. Uh, I met a lot of them for the Lemmings forums, and... They've become some good friends of mine now, so I just, it means so much to me. I just really wanted to say that. Anyhow, enough of that. Let's get started with the video. That music can only mean one thing. Spring has returned. Hello, Internet! Praise be to God, and welcome to Harvest Moon 64 once again. We are now officially on year two, first day of spring. Hi, honey. I created up the eggs. Today is a perfect day for doing the laundry. That is true, because now is spring is very sunny and warm. Oh, hey, Rick! Hi, Artie! Look! Ta-da! It's called a transporter! If there's no obstacles within three feet, an object can put here is transported over there in an hour. <laughs> what? If you had an hour, you could move it three miles? Well, I'll work on that point next. Anyway, this is a great step forward. So how about helping out with my experiment? Just step up there. Um... I don't really have an hour to spare, sorry. What? You doubt me? Well, I can't force you. Okay, I'll just use this vegetable. What? Good thing I didn't use that. What? Why is it frozen? Oh my, it has zero molecular motion. <laughs> A failure. Okay, Artie, see you later. Oh, um, what's the shady salesman doing here? Hello, anybody home? Yeah, I don't I don't really want to talk to you, but all right. Hello, I'm a traveling salesman. I've brought a wonderful product today that I got in a faraway country. They're called nectar fruit seeds. They grow fast and pro prolific. The fruit is sweet, and you can also eat the leaves. They cost 500 G a bag, but today they're on sale for 350 G. Big savings. You want to buy some? Not really, no. You'd be missing out on a good product. Well, okay. Okay, see you later. At least that guy doesn't pester me anymore. That's good. Happy New Year from Kent and Stu. Oh, that's very nice of them. What have you been doing? I'll visit you when I can find the time. From Dwight. Aw, thanks, Dwight. Well, because I was carrying a small fish when I walked out of the house, it somehow disappeared because of Rick. So I guess I'll have to give my dog something else to eat today. <gasps> oh, I'm getting large milk now. This is amazing. How much fodder do I have? 43. And I'm using 8 a day, so that'll last me for 5 days. I don't think my grass is going to grow in time for that, but never know. Here's something I want to find out. I still have six points on my flower card. That's good. So if I buy 24 flowers, I can get all the main prizes. Okay, tomatoes and strawberries have both grown. This is going to take a while, then. 
Okay, here's the lowdown. Harvested my to all of my tomatoes. Harvested all my strawberries, except for eight of them, which I put in my refrigerator. Didn't have room for all of those, so I took all my eggs out of the refrigerator and sold them. And now we should be caught up. Also, forgot to mention that Rick scene we saw at the beginning of today. That only happens if you give him the rare metal. And also, check out our doghouse now. It looks sweet! Anyhow, today's the New Year's uh, Day festival, so we're going to the square. Oh, but first we get to see the Papari Maria scene, because it's uh, Sprina West. Here you go, Maria, the green caterpillar I told you about yesterday. Wow, can I really have it? Yep, it's a real pest to flowers, so I have to get rid of them. But Maria's curious. Well, that was a weird way to phrase it. Oh, it turns into a beautiful butterfly. It's kind of cute now, too. But it's such a shame. It's natural that they eat leaves. Right, and it's also natural that spiders and birds eat green caterpillars. There's no help for it. Oh, Poppery, you're so mean. I guess. Yeah, now we get to see a lot of the scenes in spring now that people are at a high affection. Anyways, to the New Year's Day festival. So this is basically a drinking contest. I'm here to carry people who've crashed. Are you going home now? Nope. We've abandoned all ceremony. Drink up! Um, okay. So, funny, fun fact. On my first, like, couple of playthroughs, or mainly just my first playthrough, I married Ellie, and I never drank any alcohol, so I talked to Ellie, and when we drank, I immediately passed out. I kept thinking Ellie was, like, drugging me, which was weird. Anyhow. Hey, Ellie. A toast to a good year. Nice. Happy New Year! A toast to a good year! Um, hey. Boy, there are lots of people, and two of you. Uh, bye-bye. Poppery, yeah, has a very low alcohol tolerance, which is understandable. Hey, the mayor. Happy New Year! May it be a good year for all! Drink up! Do I have to? <laughs> Since I'm mayor, I just need to exchange toasts with people to the new year. Oh, the mayor has can, has like a bit of a higher alcohol tolerance than I expected. I can't drink anymore. Take over for me, would you? So basically, every drink, uh, every time you drink alcohol throughout the year, that gives you one extra tolerance here. So if you drink no alcohol, you will pass out for the first person you talk to. If you drink one, then you can take one drink before you pass out, as opposed to zero. So. Kinda works like that. Who all's here? Okay. Let's talk to Ellie again. I don't drink often, so I can't handle much. I use alcohol for cooking, though. Cheers! That's me, Ellie. <laughs> I only use alcohol for cooking. Um, I can't drink anymore. That's fine. Where's Karen? Actually, Karen's kind of a fierce competitor. Hey, Anne. Um, <laughs> a toast to a good year. Yeah, that's what you get when you're trying to outdrink Karen. So she's already a little tipsy to begin with. Oh no, I'm starting to feel funny. I can't drink anymore. See, I'm okay with that spelling error because she's essentially getting drunk. So, that's cool. Hey, Gray. Toast. He looks upset. Looks like he, we beat him. Hey, robot. Ho, ho, ho. A toast to the new year. So would the robot be really good at this contest, or really bad? We're about to find out. I can't drink anymore. I'm going home. Okay, really bad. Apparently her circuitry's uh, malfunctioning. Hey, sweetheart. Happy New Year. So, um, cheers. I, I can't drink much. Well, okay, cheers. Oh no, sweetheart, don't drink more than you want. I'm sorry. Sorry, excuse me. I'm sorry, sweetie. I should have saved you for last. Hey, Harris. It was a busy morning delivering cards. A toast to the new year! Is this gonna be the one? I don't think I'm gonna- I'm not sure if I'm gonna win the contest or not. I've, I drank quite a bit, but I don't think I drank enough. Uh, I don't think I could drink much more. Yeah, yeah, toast.
I'm sorry, I can't drink anymore. Don't apologize. Hey, Luigi. Hi, a toast to a happy new year. I'm trying to take out everyone except Karen last. Actually, I don't like to drink much. Just a spot in my tea, so please forgive me. He likes putting uh, alcohol in his tea. Okay. All right then. Hey, Rick. At the New Year Festival, you have to make a toast every time you exchange greetings with uh, someone. And of course, you have to drink up every time, too. That's why I've never greeted everyone. Yeah, I guess greet your best friends only. Who? well, I must be going now. Hey, Lilia. Hmm, I've about had it. Yeah, cheers. Okay, like Papyri, she'll probably only take one. Well, Happy New Year. Good night. <laughs> We're not going to see the potion shop dealer's creepy face again, are we? Hey, the midwife. Oh, don't overdo it, kid. But hey, let's toast the New Year. Okay, so far so good. I was trying to talk to the midwife, but that's okay. I hope we have another good year. Oh, I like that. The potion shop dealer's not waiting until he gets drunk. He's just like, yeah, I've had enough, and leaves. Young adults these days can't hold their out liquor. Cheers! Yeah, she's pretty good at drinking, too, if memory serves. Hey, you can hold your liquor pretty well. Okay, let's toast. You could drink a lot for a young man. Oh, she's just like, yeah, I'm out here. All right, Kai's pretty tough. I make wine, so you won't outdrink me. Cheers. Uh, yeah, I don't... Okay, Jack, you've had, what, like 30 drinks of wine right now? You, how are you still alive? But Miss Karen might beat me. What? Not a drinking game? I thought it was. Well, cheers. Oh, it's a drinking game, all right. It is on. Artie, you're a social person. Cheers. That's funny, because I'm not very social in real life. Oh, I can't drink much more. Cheers. Still, this is four drinks as opposed to everyone else's, like, one or two. I can't drink anymore. <laughs> he fell over for a little bit. Did you guys see that? All right. It's just you and me, Karen. Yeah, toast. Watch out. I'll drink you under the table. <laughs> We'll see. Mmm, this is a great event. I get to drink as much as I want. Oh, who's it gonna be? I don't know who's gonna win. Say, you can hold your liquor. Let's have another toast. Are you really swallowing all that? Okay, okay, another toast. I, I'm, I'm convinced Jack must not be swallowing at all. You've got exchange... <laughs> Greetings with other people, too, you know. <laughs> Cheers. I, you're the only person left, because Gray refuses to leave, even though I beat him. <laughs> no way. I give up. I can't drink anymore. I think I win the festival, even though you get absolutely nothing, and it's not even a contest. <laughs> so, yep, we outdrank everybody. Oh, no, there's Cliff. I forgot. Hey, cheers. I don't want to drink too much. I totally forgot about Cliff. I'm sorry. So Karen was totally valid, and she's like, Hey, Cliff's still over there. I get quarrelsome when I drink too much. I gotta go now. See you later. Okay, Cliff was the last man standing. Well, actually, I was the last man standing. Nobody else, right? Nobody else. I can't believe I won. Are you going home now? Yep. See you later. Today was fun, but it's back to work tomorrow. So my plan for my greenhouse... Oh, best wishes for the new year. Ellie, that's sweet. I'm looking forward to your actions in the new year's. Best wishes. The mayor. Oh, thanks, the mayor. Thank you for your business last year. We wish you happiness in the new year. The bakery master. Oh, thanks, Luigi. Okay, as I was going to say, I want to plant cabbage in my greenhouse next because I want to make sure Maria always has a good supply of that. And we're running a wee bit low in the fridge. Unfortunately, I didn't have any uh, cabbage seeds and the flower shop was closed yesterday, so I had to... Um, just wait, go a day without planting anything in the greenhouse. That's okay, though. Also, I'm gonna buy a ton of flower seeds to make sure I get all the points on my card, because apparently they only sell 
flower seeds in the spring. Learn from my mistakes, kids. So much to do. Oh, I'm also going to buy more grass seeds. And I'm going to buy more chicken feed. I'm just going to buy it all. Also, whoa! Okay, I went from having like 41,000 to having 60,000 just by selling some strawberries. Strawberries are an overpowered crop. Also, I wish there were more uh, crops you could plant. Like, they were, I know, I can't remember if this was actually in the Japanese version or if this was just planned. They were going to have carrot seeds that you could plant in fall. Whose scene is this? Poppery and Karen. All right. You're giving this to me? Can I make wine with the flower petals? Oh, Karen, everything turns into wine in your hands, doesn't it? It's delicious. It smells good, too. Let me taste your moondrop wine when it's done. I'll, I'll, I'll looking forward to it. Poppery needs to... Poppery, like me, apparently needs to learn how to speak English properly. Okay, bye. And again, these girl scenes get triggered when both the girls are at a yellow heart, I believe. Or maybe late green heart. Anyhow, what I was going to do is pick up the edible grass to give to my dog. Alright, to the flower shop. Yes! First gray uh, popper seed. Here, you forgot the goods! What? You think it's strange that I bought flower seeds? Not really. Hmph. Nothing wrong with that. Hi, Ellie. Oh, you're still asking me for free stuff. Okay. I love the spring. Flowers bloom, plants bud, and it's when my man comes back. Yeah. 15th of the month, that's when it's gonna happen. Anyhow, I would like some cabbage seeds very, very much. I'd like 20. Grass seeds? Fifteen, please. Alright. I need 30 points on my flower card. I've got six, so I need to buy 24 flowers. Actually, I'm just gonna buy 19. I'll buy catmint seeds um, at the flower festival. Wowie! That was a lot, though. <laughs> That was a lot of money I spent. What else is new for the new year? Maria's happiness is my happiness. Nothing pleases me more than the laughter of Maria and my wife. Can your wife laugh? I mean, she's kind of emotionless. But I'm glad to hear that you love Maria so much. That's good. Alright, now here's the question. Will I get the next gray poppery cutscene here? I think I will. Yes! <laughs> yes! Such beautiful blooms! Did you grow them? No, my brother did. He babies them, though you wouldn't guess from looking at him. Don't say that. Looks have nothing to do with growing flowers. Yeah, but he always has such a scary face when he's working with the flowers. <laughs> that's a great mental picture. Well, that's your brother. <laughs> I'll drop by again. This is what gives you the infinite supply of flowers all year round, and I really wish I had that year one. I need to buy a bit of fodder, too. I don't want a ton. I'll do 18. That'll last for three extra days. You don't have to be so eager, but bad things can happen when you're not looking. Hey, I will be as eager as I want. I'm an eager beaver. I just realized I might be able to see all of the gray poppery scenes in one day. Because I'm good friends with gray. I'm not going to, but I bet I could. Man, how did gray get his flowers to grow in literally less, like, an hour? <laughs> 
I think I just got ripped off on my flower seeds, because I bought quite a few of them. I already had several of them, and I only have 20 now. But I have 25 points now, and that's really all I cared about. All right, now we are going to do something that is almost sacrilegious at this point. We are going to plant stuff outside of our greenhouse. What? Stupid weed, get out of here. Uh oh no, I am like about to die. That's not good. I just helped a bit with the housework at home. I had no idea how hard it was to think up the menu. Yeah, at least if you want diversity. Oh, hi! I didn't know you could teleport, honey. Honey, don't work too hard. I'm so sorry. I will go eat a lot. Let's see, what do I have in the fridge I could eat? Eggplant. I'm also going to use the bathroom. I'm sorry, Jack, but it would be a shame to not plant these two grass seeds. I did some weeding. It feels good to clean things up. Yay! She finally is starting to pull the weeds. Awesome. All right, today is gift day. I need to make up for a lot of the gifts I've been meaning to give, but haven't gotten around to. Let's see. Anne doesn't need corn. I'll give that to Anne's dad. There we go. That should be good. Didn't you hate studying, too? Uh, it was okay. Oh, really? I like studying. Uh, I don't have anything for you, sorry. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? According to Genesis, the chicken came before the egg. Oh, thank you, it's my favorite. Even if you can't answer a child's question, it's very important to try to think things out with them. I agree, I agree. Get that for my dog. Oh, hey you! I'm an entomologist, nice to meet you! Wow, I forgot about this guy. Yeah, he comes around in year two. And he'll play a more important role come summertime. I'm looking for the legendary butterfly. Have you ever seen it? It's very beautiful with big blue rings. I don't know what kind of voice I'm giving him there. It's the fisherman, just the guy I wanted to see. I caught, look at this fish I caught. Oh, thank you! In return, I'll teach you a good way to cook fish. Isn't it boring to eat fish cooked in the same way all the time? And we get the fried char recipe. Hi, have you gone fishing yet? Dude! I just gave you a giant fish. Where, where, how else do you think I got it? No store sells fish here. You gotta catch it for yourself. Is this the Karen Maria scene? I really hope it's the Karen Maria scene. Nope! Oh! Oh, it's the next cutscene! <laughs> for the, those two. Cruel? Kane has to eat birds and rabbits to survive. It would be cruel to tell him not to do so. Besides, it's nature's law that the weak are hunted and the strong survive, isn't it? I understand what you're saying, but I still don't like the idea. That's Kane's food. She took your food, so I guess you're gonna have to eat the fish instead. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> that's a shame, I like Kane. Then again, I also like Anne and Cliff, and the rabbit as well, so that's, t that's tough. Um, yep. Dooper dooper doo herper dooper scooper, I'm climbing a tree. Is Poppery up here today? It's kinda weird I'm going out of my way to find her, but. No, but this guy is. Oh, it's you! I'm wasting good spirits, eh? I just realized I gave the entomologist a similar voice. <laughs> That's my eccentric old man voice, who kinda sounds like Mar Marvin the Martian. Hey, Cliff. Kane's my best friend. That makes it sound like I'm lonely. <laughs> no, no, I get it. Is Poppery in here? I hope she is. She's not. Where on earth could that girl be? Well, at the very least, I might as well get the final home extension. The log terrace. Shall I make that? Yes. Okay. I'll come by to get the estimate. Blah, 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 blah. She's not in the bakery either. Really? Is she really just right next to the flower shop? No, she's not. Wait, where the heck is Poppery? She's vanished.
Well, fine, Poppery. I guess I'm giving the strawberries to the gourmet man. Thank you. That looks beautiful. Yeah. Hope you appreciate it. It is an incredibly rare crop. Oh, that's right. Doggone it. I can't. Green Ranch is closed, too. Well, I shouldn't go to the bar, so... Good, okay, I'll get started tomorrow. Thanks, man! There we go. Alright, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, I think. <laughs> it's all today's shipment, right? I'm taking it, okay? No! Oh no, Jack, not you're not getting tired again, are you? This is gonna be the pasture where I put the cows and my sheep out to graze. Don't run out of stamina. He's gonna run out of stamina right before I get all these seeds planted, isn't he? Oh no, he's not! Yay! That's great. Ooh, tomorrow's gonna rain. Oh boy. This episode is weird, because I feel like I have talked for pretty much not at all for this episode. I feel like the amount of commentary I've contributed has been next to nothing. And yet, this has been probably the longest recording I've done, and yet it hasn't- it doesn't feel like it's been that long. So... That's kind of interesting. Best wishes for the new year! Kai! Thanks, Kai! No mail today. Alright. Hey, dude. Have an ear of corn. Oh, thank you very much. How's it going, Anne? Good luck in the local horse race this year. Thank you. I actually will be entering this year. It... Gray's not here. He must be outside. Okay. He must have walked outside as I was walking in. Hey, Gray. Looks like rain tomorrow. That is true. Have some flowers. Sorry. He's like, I saw you pick those off of my patch. It's a nice season. I can enjoy the scenery while delivering the mail. That's great, Harris. You go. I'm gonna buy nine more grass seeds. Oh, thank you. That makes me happy. Artie, your eyes are like my husband's. Glittering like a young boy. Haha, <laughs> that's okay. Men need to have a dream. I'm glad she's okay doing the, like, long-distance relationship with her husband. That's actually very sweet. And it often gets overlooked. All right. Poppery's gone again today. Doggone you. Who's playing the organ here? Oh, thank you. It's my favorite. All life starts moving in spring. Sure. Okay. All right. That's pretty much going to do it for this episode, then. Now, here's the thing. Starting in year two, you can trigger a very serious scene that... Results in quite a bit of character development, but it's also kind of sad at the same time. If you do not want to trigger the scene that I'm about to trigger, do not talk to Ellie's grandmother until summer when she starts rocking in her chair normally. You'll notice that she's kind of, like, sleeping while she's in her chair right now. That's going to have a bit of uh, relevance to what I'm about to do. So, if you don't want what's about to happen to happen in your playthrough, just don't talk to Ellie's grandma until she starts rocking in her chair normally, starting in summer. In the meantime, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in for next episode, and we should be continuing with Spring and getting more stuff done. Have a great day, and God bless. The episode's not quite over yet, but I want to get that out of the way so we can actually give this scene the respect it needs. Hey, Grandma, what's going on here? Oh, Artie, spring makes me sleepy. I was dreaming just now about my dear-hearted grandpa and your grandfather. Oh, that's dearded. Doggone it, not another spelling error. Come on. Ellie, Ellie, listen to me. You know. What? Grandma? Ellie. What? Grandma? Let's go inside if you're going to sleep. Grandma? Grandma?
Grandma looked like she was just sleeping. The smoke went up the same way as that day. It seemed like she went straight up in the sky. I wonder if she's in the same place as Grandpa now.